Hello, welcome to Biograde TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. History of Eritrea Eritrea is a country in the continent of Africa. It is located in East Africa and is home to about 5 million people. There are nine major ethnic groups in Eritrea Afar, Blien, Hidoreb, Kunama, Nara, Rashida, Saho, Tigre, and Tigrinya. Of these groups, Tigrinya and Tigre have the most population. Ethiopia is one of their closest neighbors as both countries were once a united entity. The main languages spoken in Eritrea are Tigrinya, Tigre, Kunama, Bilen, Nara, Saho, Afar, Beja, but Tigrinya is the most widely spoken language. The predominant religions in Eritrea are Christianity and Islam. 63% are Christians and 36% practice Islam. The oldest kingdom known to have ruled in Eritrea and Ethiopia was the Domed Kingdom, which later gave way to the Aksum Kingdom. Several kingdoms and sub-kingdoms ruled Eritrea until its occupation by Italy. Italy began its occupation through the purchase of Asab by Rubatino Shipping Company. From there, it expanded its reach to the rest of Eritrea and Ethiopia. In 1890, the colony of Eritrea was established. In 1936, Eritrea was merged with Italian East Africa to become Eritrea Governorate. This continued until Italy lost its hold during the Second World War. In September 1952, Eritrea became an independent part of Ethiopia before fully gaining its independence in 1991. The name Eritrea is believed to have evolved from Erythraia, the Greek form of the name, and Erythraea, the Latin form of the name. The name refers to that of the Red Sea, called the Eritrean Sea, playing on the Greek word for red, that is Erythros. After the overthrow of Italy in 1941 by the Allied forces, Eritrea remained under British control until about 1951. International organizations decided that it would become a federation with Ethiopia rather than grant them the freedom they demanded. Dissatisfied with Ethiopia's rule, Eritrea began its fight for independence through the Eritrean Liberation Front. The official fight for Eritrea's independence began on the 1st of September 1961 and lasted till 1991. On the 28th of May 1993, Eritrea was recognized as a sovereign nation by the United Nations. The capital of Eritrea is Asama, which also happens to be its largest city. The system of government used in Eritrea is a unitary one-party presidential republic. In this system, the president acts as both the head of state and the head of government, and the only political party allowed is the People's Front for Democracy and Justice. Eritrea fought two civil wars before finally gaining independence. The war took place between competing organizations that were fighting for the freedom of Eritrea. The first civil war took place from 1972 to 1974. In this war, the Eritrean Liberation Front ELF, tried to subdue other members of the groups who didn't like the ELF's leadership style and wanted to break away to form another group. The second civil war took place between 1980 and 1981. During this war, the newly formed Eritrean People's Liberation Front EPLF, attacked the ELF when it seemed as though the ELF wanted to negotiate a peace treaty with the nation's enemy, 
1930s, the Soviet Union, and Ethiopia. This war saw the total defeat of the ELF and its exile from Eritrea. The surviving members of the ELF finally moved to Sudan. There are six regions in Eritrea, which are further divided into sub-regions. The regions are called Zobas, while the sub-regions are called Sub-Zoba. These regions are grouped based on their water properties. This is done to ensure each region has enough control over its agricultural production and prevent intra-regional conflicts. Though Eritrea is facing numerous challenges such as a poor economy, political oppression, and travel difficulties, it still has some beautiful places worth visiting. Some of such places are Asmara, Masawa, the Imperial Palace, St. Mariam Cathedral, Senafi, Dalak Marine National Park, and many more. Eritrea's main natural resources are natural gas, gold, copper, oil, zinc, and potash. Most of the nation's landmass has deposits of precious metals and volcanic sulfide. Eritrea's GDP per capita income was around $566 as of 2019, and the currency used is NAFCA, that is Eritrean NAFCA. The country is made up of different communities that celebrate different festivals as part of their cultural heritage. Some of the festivals celebrated in Eritrea are New Year's Day, Orthodox Epiphany, Fenkil Day, Birth of the Prophet, Independence Day, Matthias Day, Women's Day, and others. The music scene in Eritrea goes as far back as the 30-year war of independence with Ethiopia. Music was part of the tool used to lure young individuals into joining the EPLF during the Eritrean Civil War. Ever since Eritrea gained independence in 1993, its range of music has increasingly expanded. Bereket Mengistab is one of the famous musicians from the country. The most popular sports in Eritrea are football and cycling, for which they have begun to gain international recognition in recent years. Ever since Eritrea gained independence, it has maintained a good relationship with the rest of the world. Though Eritrea has had strained relations with its neighbors, Djibouti, Yemen, and Ethiopia in recent years, they are making conscious efforts to create lasting relations with the international community. Turkey, the United Arab Emirates, Yemen, South Korea, Qatar, Mexico, and Italy are some of the nations with which Eritrea has formed relations. Environmental issues like deforestation, soil erosion, land laws, and overgrazing as well as human rights issues are some of the problems facing Eritrea. President Isaias Afewerki has been accused of being authoritarian since he came to power in 1993. Like many African nations, Eritrea has a long way to go before good governance and prosperity can be delivered to their populace. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share, and subscribe to our channel.